The Emporia State men fell to Rogers State Monday night behind some hot shooting from the Hillcats. Rogers State hit a season-high 15 three-pointers, the most they've connected on against a Division II team since 2018. We'll pick up in the first where Emporia State trails by just one, 10 to 9 at the 14-15 mark after a pair of Mason Thiessen free throws. Rogers State started to heat up their next three or four buckets coming from deep range. Emporia State took a 30 to 28 lead on a steal and breakaway dunk by Kong Kong, but Rogers State, after hitting their ninth tray of the half takes a 43-32 lead into the break. You had to think the Hillcats would cool off in the second half, but they just did not, continuing to pull and cash in from beyond the arc as Emporia State fell 75-60. to It's really tough. I thought, I thought um, they were the team that won the battle of making shots and the toughness battle. Uh, that is the most physical team in our league. They muddy the game up and play bully ball inside. And that's that interior play, even though we we had more points in the paint than them, it wasn't indicative of their of their play inside was collapsed our defense constantly and created those perimeter shots for them. So overall they they won in two phases of the game that are really important, and that's toughness and shooting. Gage McGuire had a career high 18 points, and Austin Downing was the other scorer in double figures for the Hornets with 10. Next game for the Hornets is Thursday, January 7th on the road at Missouri Western. This week is really tough for us. I mean, we're on the road at Rogers State, the most physical team. We go on the road then to go play at Missouri Western, a team that's nationally ranked and 6-1 uh, and one overall. And then we go on the road to play undefeated and national, uh, defending national champions and number one in the country, Northwest Mo. Uh, this is a week you can easily go 0-3 in. But we're trying to look at everything one game at a time. You want to look at it one game, one practice, one play at a time. Because if you do all the right things, it can go in your favor. So we're going to learn. We're going to continue to, to progress. And this is the toughest week we'll have all season long. Probably the toughest week most, uh, most teams in the conference will see.